Oh, hi. This is Digital Beersborn. Please open your holes for some more AP art history. We're looking at the indigenous Americas. We're going to finish our look at North America with a piece that comes from the state of New Mexico. It's known as the black on black ceramic vessel. Let's start with the context. Ceramic pottery like this has a long rich history with many indigenous populations. They would rely on ceramic pottery to create pots to store food and water, to cook with, and to eat with. However, after the 19th century, this ceramic pottery was largely replaced by cheap mass-produced alternatives. The art of producing these ceramics was largely lost for a lot of these indigenous cultures. That changed with this woman, Maria Martinez, a ceramic artist that was born in 1887. She worked in both the 19th and 20th century. And she's a member of the Puebloan people. You might remember the Puebloans as the people that built the Mesa Verde cliff dwellings that we looked at earlier in this chapter. Maria Martinez is from New Mexico. The Mesa Verde cliff dwellings are in southwestern Colorado which is very close to each other. Now, Maria Martinez and her husband, Julian Martinez, worked together to assist archeologists in an excavation of an ancestral Puebloan site. During this archeological dig, they found many fragments of Puebloan pottery. Maria Martinez and her husband Julian were inspired to recreate the same kind of ancestral pottery that they found at that excavation site, which leads to pieces like this. Now the function of the pot that we're looking at here is different than the function of the ancestral pottery. Instead of being for storing food and water or for cooking and eating, a pot like this was made as an art object. It was made as something visually beautiful. If you remember, recently we talked about the painted elk hide by the artist Kotsiko. He produced this work drawing from ancestral art forms, but with the intention of selling to tourists. The same can be true of the black on black ceramic vessels produced by Martinez. They were made not to store food and water, not to eat with, but to sell as an art object to a non-indigenous population. Now let's take a look at the formal qualities of the black on black ceramic vessel. Now, although Maria Martinez is often credited as the sole artist of these works, it was really a communal effort. Members of the Puebloan community would be responsible for producing the clay, for example. Maria Martinez would then shape the clay by hand and her husband Julian would paint the abstract patterns we find on the sides. Many of these abstract patterns were derived from the fragments of ancestral Puebloan pottery found at that excavation site. Maria Martinez is famous for her ability to produce perfectly symmetrical pots. That's a difficult task when forming the clay by hand. With more modern techniques, like using a potter's wheel, that can be done easily. But Maria Martinez is able to produce complex symmetrical pottery by hand. Now, perhaps the most striking aspect of the black on black ceramic vessel is the deep black finish. We have a glossy, shiny black that contrasts with a more flat black pattern. The glossiness of the background was achieved by Maria Martinez polishing the clay with a flat stone. But the clay itself is not black. Many of the fragments they found at the excavation site had this rich black color, but the Puebloan people no longer had the techniques to produce it. That secret was lost. Maria Martinez and her husband Julian were able to rediscover the process. If you remember, in ceramics, you have to fire the clay to make it into a hardened, durable material by exposing it to high heat. What Martinez would do is she would dig a hole 
fill it with some kind of fuel, wood perhaps, to create a very hot fire, and then bury the pots inside. She would then smother the fire with manure. It would keep the fire extremely hot, but deprive the ceramics of oxygen. With that high heat and the lack of oxygen, it would turn the clay this deep, rich black. That process would oftentimes make the pottery more brittle, which made it perhaps less likely to be functional in terms of using it as a storage device for food or water or as a tool for eating. But if you remember, the intention of these works is not to be a functional ceramic pot, but instead to be an object of beauty. In doing this, Maria Martinez was able to bring money into the Puebloan community by selling these objects as works of art to the non-Indigenous population of North America. And in doing so, she also kept the ancestral art form of Puebloan pottery alive. <laughs>